water, the key ingredient to all life on Earth. This essential ingredient in our ability to thrive is now becoming a limited resource and we all need to step up and rise to the cause and help conserve this precious resource. As the water makes its way from the mountains to the rivers, lakes, and streams below, it embarks on an amazing journey, traveling to ultimately end up here in our communities. We need to look into ways of preserving water here where we live so that we can continue enjoying this beautiful place we call home. Just as it's done for thousands of years, the sound of water brings tranquility to our lives and a connection with nature that man has always appreciated and looks for. Here's the truth. Environmentally, saving water is a really good thing. It is a valuable, limited resource. But the real truth is what matters to the average homeowner is how it affects their pocketbook. And the fact is, there is nothing more expensive in terms of plant material that you can grow than lawn. It requires more water, more fertilizer, more maintenance than any other plant. By deleting turf from my garden and using a thick layer of mulch and plants that want to be here, we only have to water about 25% of what our neighbors with lawns have to use. Here is an example of what one can do when you replace lawn, and that is a big challenge. People say, okay, if I take out my front lawn, what am I gonna put in instead? Well, we have here a storm retention pond. It is a dry stream that runs throughout the front garden, and this is what it looks like most of the year. But when it rains, 75% of the rain that lands on our roof ends up in this dry stream. What that does is it reduces ocean pollution by keeping that water here on the property. The first one inch of rain is the one that carries the most pollution. So if we can keep that on our property out of the ocean, we'll help to reduce the pollution of the ocean. The water lands here and infiltrates through the gravel bed. The gravel is approximately nine inches deep and it is returned to the groundwater instead of going to the ocean. And of course, because of the gravel, it functions as a very, very deep mulch. So the trees have a source of water for months after the rains have stopped. Reduces once again water usage. And what does that mean? I'm saving money and helping to preserve a very limited and valuable resource. We all know without water, there isn't one living thing on the planet that would be here. So we do need to save it and save some money while we're at it. So now you know what you can do to help conserve the water. If we all come together and lend a hand like these folks, we can all make a big difference.